My name is Lina Petrakieva and I'm going to show you the differences between a line chart and an XY scatter plot. When you want to represent uh, your data in a chart, you have to carefully consider what type of chart you're going to need, uh, what are you trying to say with this chart, and what is the actual data that you're plotting in this chart. In this example here, we have temperature recorded at uh, different days. So we want to display the temperature change throughout those days. The two possibilities we have is to use either a line chart or an XY scatter uh, plot. But uh, when we think about the line chart itself, it will show a trend of change. However, the different elements uh, that are plotted on the line chart will be assumed to be at uh, regular intervals. And if we look carefully at the days that we have collected our samples, we can see they are not at regular intervals. So I want to show you uh, the difference in uh, how one type of data will represent the information and how the other one uh, will do that. So we'll start, first of all, with um, a line chart. Let's select the data that we want to display in the line chart. So simply select the data, go to the Insert tab and choose a line chart. I will use the one that also shows the markers where the actual measurements are. When you plot a line chart, it will automatically uh, try to plot every number as a separate series of data. So you can see that uh, because our days are in numbers, it actually plotted both uh, sets of data as two series of data. You can see one chart representing the days and the other one the temperature. Obviously that's not what we want because we want simply the temperature and the days to be used as labels along the X uh, axis. So we'll have to delete that chart and select simply just the temperature to be displayed as a line chart. And there it is. However, because it will automatically assume that there are regular intervals, it will just number them uh, consecutively, but this is not what we need. We want to use our own labels to show at which days this uh, measurement is actually taken. So we'll need to change the axis labels along the x-axis. To do that, simply right-click on the chart, go to Select Data, and there you have access now to um, changes in the axis labels. So we want to edit this and select our own labels from our data. Simply click OK and OK. And now we can see the data uh, that we have represented uh, in labels along the X axis. But as I mentioned earlier, the line chart assumes that the measurements are taken at regular intervals and the information that is plotted along the X axis is going to be used simply as labels, as categories. Any numerical value will be completely disregarded. So although we see numbers for the computer, these are not numbers, these are just labels. So we can see our point one, for example, is uh, we have a label for it, number one, and this means our day one. The next point is uh, number two, which is taken at day five. The next point here has been taken at day seven, uh, exactly as our data shows here. And the next one is taken at day 15, exactly as our data shows. However, if we look at the intervals between day five and day seven, we have two days. Between day seven and day 15, we have eight days. But on our chart, the distance is exactly the same. So a line chart in this case will not be a truthful representation of uh, the data we have, simply because the intervals here along the x-axis are not the same. And by using a line chart, we are ignoring that. So I'll just move this chart to the sides and we'll create a new chart. This time we're going to use an xy scatter plot. The XY scatter plot uh, is uh, taking into account the numerical values of both the X and the Y uh, components of our data. So every point on the chart will be uh, represented by its X and Y component. So we're looking more for a relationship between those two values. And if we insert now the XY scatter plot, I'll choose similar types so you can see easier the difference. And this is now the data we have. And as you can see, 
the distance between the intervals is now not the same. We're still representing the temperature here, but our point one is 12 uh, degrees, exactly as it is represented here. At day five, the measurement is taken and is plotted correctly. Day seven, the distance between day five and day seven is a lot more realistic here. And the data has been plotted correctly. And the next point is day 15. So you can see now the distance between those two is a lot more realistic than on the line chart. So if we compare them side to side, you can see immediately uh, the difference between those. So with line charts and XY scatter plot, it is important to consider what is the value in the X axis. Is it simply a category name, um, something that could be a string, or it is a numeric value that needs to be taken into account and is definitely not at equal intervals. And then we can choose which one of those two types will represent best uh, our data.